Getting light of the day. It is every bit as cold as it looks out there on our America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. Temperature wise, below the 30 degree mark at Montrose, at freezing for Delta, at freezing for Grand Junction. Then you factor in that very light wind out there, and some locations are going even colder. It feels like the 20s. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about temperatures because we do have more cold days. We also have some pretty mild days. We're going to get some sunshine in your forecast. We're going to talk about the next approaching storm system. It's due in this weekend. A lot to talk about. Full forecast details coming right up. Now, first on the Western Slope, you're watching KREX 5 News at 6 p.m. Good evening. Thank you for choosing KREX 5 News at 6. I'm Jillian McCarthy. It's the first of its kind in the state of Colorado. A critical program for veterans battling addiction and substance abuse is coming to the Grand Junction VA Medical Center. Our Lena Takata learned about the Substance Abuse Rehabilitation Residential Treatment Program, also known as SARTIP, and how it can help not just veterans in the Grand Valley, but from across the state and even from out of state. She joins us live from the VA Medical Center with more details. Lena? Jillian, the state of Colorado currently doesn't have a residential treatment program specifically for veterans battling addiction. So that means Colorado veterans have to travel out of state to get this type of treatment. But that's about to change with this program coming right here to Grand Junction. One in 10 veterans have been diagnosed with a substance abuse disorder, according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse. And currently, VA medical centers in Colorado do have outpatient and inpatient substance abuse treatment programs to help those people, but none have a residential program. Given the fact that we don't currently have a program that addresses substance use disorders in Colorado on a residential level, you know, we oftentimes have to refer people to out-of-state programs, but people with legal issues are not able to leave the state. But the new substance abuse rehabilitation residential treatment program would allow veterans who need substance abuse treatment to stay at the VA medical center and have access to critical care 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without the intensity of an inpatient program. So it helps people with any substance use disorder. So this can include alcohol use, it can include uh, things like cocaine, methamphetamines, opioids. Treatment includes everything from therapy to medical treatment. We're going to have uh, psychiatrists, medical providers, psychologists, social workers, peer support specialists, vocational rehabilitation specialists, nursing staff, um, and a variety of different staff. But it goes beyond just treating substance abuse. It's also here um, to use other services that the VA offers, like our HUDVASH program, which is um, a housing program that helps people that aren't, that might be homeless or might be couch surfing. One representative of the VA center says the program could be life-changing and possibly life-saving. It's, it's being able to access multiple resources at once while you're also trying to get healthy and back into society as a um, contributing citizen. The VA Medical Center is planning to hold the grand opening for the program on Veterans Day. Live from the VA Medical Center and first on the Western Slope, I'm Lena Takata, KREX 5 News. Jillian. Thank you, Lena. Significant improvements in the fight against the coronavirus here in Mesa County. Public health officials announcing the county is now yellow on the state COVID-19 dial. The county enters the concern level on the dial following a week of reduction in new cases. The COVID tracker on the public health website details the improvements within the county. Average new cases within the county are down to 146 per week and new hospitalizations have been stable or declining for eight days straight. The most significant improvements as seen in the one week average positivity rate. Mesa County is currently at 4.3% one week average. Just two weeks ago, the county was at about 7%. Restaurant and business capacity will increase from 25 to 50% with the change to yellow. That's according to Executive Director Jeff Kaur. He says bars and restaurants will also be allowed to stay open later into the evening under these new guidelines. Public gatherings and weddings will also be allowed to increase capacity. Calling local businesses. If you missed out on applying for COVID relief the first time, there's some news for you this evening. The Small Business Relief Program is back for another round. Our Cora Dickey is live in the field with more details. Cora?
That's right, Jillian. As the pandemic drags on, Mesa County Administration wants to help small businesses continue to thrive. Applications for the relief program have been extended to help local businesses like the one behind me with no strings attached. The Colorado Department of Local Affairs approved close to $1 million in funding for small business relief. Each local and small business approved could receive up to $7,000. We believe that small business is the, the backbone um, of our economy, and when they're hurting, we, we want to help out. So again, we just encourage people to go and, and sign up if they're, if they're in that um, demographic. Doug Sorter of the Thrive Organization operates a small business downtown. He has never seen a financial crisis like this in his entire career. He jumped on the chance to apply and says the money will be a huge help. This helped us be sustainable, it helped us pay our employees, and we were really welcome this. If you can imagine what it could do for you, because what, what it did for us was just incredible. So if you can imagine that for yourselves, I encourage you to do it as well. You can find the application and if your business is eligible for this one-time grant at mesacounty.us. Now, to ensure that all businesses eligible can apply, applications will be accepted until March 10th at 5 p.m. sharp. Funding decisions will be made on or around March 19th, and then relief grants will be issued within the following week. I will have all that information available to you at westernslopenow.com. Reporting first on the Western Slope and live in Grand Junction, Cora Dickey, KREX 5 News. Jillian? Thank you so much, Cora. Today, Governor Polis stood before lawmakers in the state capitol to give his annual State of the State address. In his address, the governor said the easing so of the, the state pandemic of the state? is in sight as he called on lawmakers to think ahead to rebuild the state's economy. He says the state's unemployment rate was 8.4 percent in January, with the restaurant and hospitality sectors particularly hit hard by the pandemic. In his speech, the governor called out the heroes of the pandemic, including workers in retail restaurants and grocery stores, first responders, the Colorado National Guard, state lawmakers, and public health officials. When commenting on the state of the state, Governor Polis acknowledges Colorado has been through the unimaginable this past year, but is optimistic for the future. So the state of the state, this past year we've been bruised, battered, and shaken to our core, but nevertheless, the state of Colorado remains strong. KDVR's Gabrielle Franklin spoke one-on-one -on -one with Governor Polis after his address. They discussed topics such as the state's unemployment rate and getting kids back in the classroom. rate currently sits at 8.4 percent. The national average is 6.3. Governor Polis acknowledging the state needs to do better, but he wouldn't specifically address the department's leadership. Is it time to re-examine leadership for the department? Well, it's certainly time to make sure that the technology works. Um, they've had uh, several weeks of delays in implementing the new technology. This was long overdue. This should have been done years ago, should have been done before the pandemic. They are updating their technology so that they're able to get checks out quicker going forward. Now, it's important that people know that everybody will get every penny they're entitled to. Nobody is losing a benefit, but that's little consolation when your rent is due and your payment is three weeks delayed or four weeks delayed. And what about your kids? How can the state get every student back in the classroom? As a local control state, the governor says it's out of his hands. There's nothing that a legislature or a governor can do uh, to force it to happen. There's nothing that even forces a school district to have physical schools in the first place. Uh, but uh, it's really important that they do that. Frankly, parents are demanding that, teachers are demanding that, students and families are demanding that, and I'm thrilled that Colorado is at least one of the leading states in terms of a safe return to school. With the pandemic spilling over into the final part of his first term, we asked the governor to grade himself on his relief response. He didn't give us a number or a letter even, but he says Colorado is in a better position than most because he stuck to the data even when that meant closing the doors of some businesses. We've lost 5,688 people. Uh, we could have lost 10 or 15,000 or 20,000 or more uh, if we hadn't taken these science-based measures to uh, protect people's health and prevent our hospitals from being overwhelmed. At the Capitol, Gabrielle Franklin, KREX 5 News. When we come back, meteorologist Russ Pappas has your full weather forecast. Don't go anywhere. Why am I so calm right now? Because this isn't a spy thriller. This is a Nissan sales event ad. Right on cue.
This Rogue has more standard safety technologies than that RAV4. It's almost too easy. Hurry in for a low 229 per month lease on the 2021 Rogue. Tick tock, time's running out. Recovering from COVID-19 takes a new approach to care. Family Health West has brought together a specialized team to treat you as a whole patient and not just your symptoms. Exhaustion, muscle weakness, lack of coordination, breathing difficulties, and cognitive impairments are all associated with having COVID-19. Our team of medical professionals work on your case and develop an individual recovery plan that gets you back to being you. Looking at recovery from every angle, Family Health West post-COVID care team. All right. I'm not even excited. I don't know why I began like that. Look at these temperature highs today. Freezing at Montrose, mid-30s at Grand Junction, freezing at Rifle, 20s at Gunnison. Felt every bit of winter. We're in the middle of February. We're also on the backside of our midweek storm system. So the Grand Mesa, Powderhorn specifically, seeing some social media reports of better than half a foot of snow. Beneficial for them, getting some snow all along the Uncompahgre Plateau down south into the Dallas Divide region. So please be very careful recreating under these conditions. Avalanche danger is considerably high right now. We're going to add to the snowpack this upcoming weekend with a bigger storm system expected to strike the northern mountains and the central mountains. But tonight, the brunt of this current midweek storm system is delivering snow and a big payload on the front range. The I-25 corridor not looking too good right now for the evening commute. Our evening commute along I-70 or Highway 50 east or west. Well, we've seen a couple of inches reported between Delta County and Montrose County of snow, so be very careful. We will get into a drier pattern. We're going to get into that later tonight. Drier conditions expected after midnight throughout the day on Thursday. We don't have any snow accumulations anticipated during the overnight hours tonight. We look for the better snow accumulations along the I-25 corridor. And in fact, they're going to be looking at some winter weather advisories. I'll show you that in a second. But first, total snow coverage across the state of Colorado. There's only three spots that I'm able to see that does not have snow. That's the western portion of Montrose County. That's the Grand Valley and Highway 50 in Mesa County. And then up into the northwest corner of Colorado. Rest of the state, look at this, getting some snow coverage in. Now, I mentioned the snow system on the Front Range. They have winter weather advisories. Those expire tomorrow morning early morning, so if you're traveling to the Front Range, just know you're going to get uh, right into some snowpack roadways there. But roads are going to be dry later tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. In fact, we're going to see some sunshine tomorrow, courtesy of a ridge of high pressure building into the west. Dry us out, clear us out. However, it will not warm us up. We're going to be right back in to the 30 degree readings. I am so sorry to tell you that. Tomorrow's going to be another cold day. It'll be nice with sunshine dry conditions, it's just going to be another cold day. Uh, we do have another Pacific storm system coming online for the weekend. As early as Friday morning, the northern mountain zones could get some snow as that moisture rides over the top of our ridge of high pressure, the one that's clearing us out tomorrow and warming us up on Friday. Yeah, so we'll get some snow and rain on the top side of that, crashing right into the northern mountains, spilling into the central mountain zones, and then the timing is everything on this current cold front expected to pass through Saturday afternoon. So that would allow Saturday's afternoon temperatures to be nice. If that cold front comes in quicker, then we'll go colder on Saturday. We'll see a lot more activity in our area mountains, the central and the northern mountains, picking up some snow. But also, we're looking at rain right now. So the cold front itself will determine rain, rain-snow mix, or snow for these lower elevations. Now, I just passed right by our low temperatures tomorrow morning. Please look at these numbers. It is going to be a very frosty start tomorrow. We're supposed to be in the 20s. We're not going to be there tomorrow. We're supposed to be in the mid 40s tomorrow afternoon. We're not going to be there either. Another cold day, but sunny and dry. Friday, we had clouds. We still maintain warming temperatures into this upcoming weekend. Same for Montrose, 40s and mid 40s. That's not bad. But Saturday is our storm system expected to deliver the payload into the central mountains, into the northern mountains. By default, we see that chance of rain showers down low. Vertical and horizontal foundation cracks, windows and doors that stick are all indications that your home has foundation issues. At Foundation Repair of Western Colorado, we offer permanent solutions that help put your worries to rest. Call us today for a free inspection. 
Looking for a good time, good brews, and good eats? The Feisty Pint is an American-style pub where you always feel welcome. Come enjoy savory burgers and pub favorites made with Colorado Angus and local produce. With weekly specials and happy hour every day from 4 to 7 p.m. with 26 beers on tap. Located in the historic St. Regis building at 359 Colorado Avenue in downtown Grand Junction. Come down for a pint and let's get feisty. Hey, this is Sean Harrison with Grand Junction Volkswagen. And if you're looking for a great deal on a new car, come see us. They have a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty with all maintenance included for the first two years. With great options like this 2021 Spacious Volkswagen Tiguan with zero down for $299 a month or $19.99 down for $259 a month. Or a great discount with a great price and a low interest rate. You decide what best suits you. And if you don't have time to come see us, check us out on the web. So if you're looking for that great new car deal, come see us at Grand Junction Volkswagen. Routines like staying active or talking to friends can help keep you centered. For more tips, visit coping-19.org. You got a ticket day by day. No one's going to tell me what I can and cannot do. Once I start running, I'm not stopping. Keep moving forward no matter what they say. I've never taken a week off. My motivation is my son. that I have, I've worked so hard for. Is everybody ready to get to work? A new Tough as Nails. Watch tonight or stream anytime on CBS. News Channel 5 Storm Team Weather is brought to you by Berkeley Automotive. Is your car ready for winter? Call 244-8484. Welcome to Sports, Mark Talley alongside Mike Kretz. We are at the Grand Junction Gym where Rifle and Montrose are about to take part in a JV wrestling match. And Mike, we wanted to come out here today for a little different spin on the big board breakdown to break down some of the scoring in wrestling. Yeah, you know, there's a lot going on with wrestling. Uh, we don't have enough time to go through all the rules, but when it comes to basics, there's nothing more basic, especially at the high school level, than a two-point takedown. You can get a takedown in a variety of ways. You got the single leg, you got the double leg, you got uh, the fireman's carry. The main thing is you get your opponent down onto the mat, you get around behind them, and you have control, and that's for two points. Okay, Mike, so it takes two to tango. If you're the person who gets taken down, can you score? And if so, how do you do it? Yeah, well, again, in wrestling, there's a number of things you can do. There's first the ever-present uh, chance of getting an escape, which is for one point, you get back up into a neutral position where both wrestlers are on their feet. That's for one. However, if you have somebody on top of you and you find a way to work around and get back on top of them, you can get two for the reversal. So I, I know sometimes on those ground control situations, things happen very quickly. As a referee, what are the keys you're looking for before you call it a reversal as opposed to an escape? Well, the first thing you're looking for, is, then what you're always looking for is control. Who has control? If, it, uh, if a one wrestler doesn't have control, then the idea is whoever had control at the start of the motion is who is, owns the situation, right? And it's not until another wrestler gains control for a reversal like that. Okay, Mike, so once you, know, you establish a position on the mat, every wrestler is looking to pin someone, right? right so, right. but you don't always get a pin. Explain the scoring that happens around a near fall. Sure, yeah, you watch wrestling on the highlights and you think, oh, this is just an individual sport. That's not true. It's, it's a very much a team sport. Uh, every weight class, they, you get points for it. So uh, if you win a match by, say, three points, then you earn your team three uh, points, team points. Uh, if you win by four, you earn your team three points. Uh, team points if you win by five so on all the way up until you get to eight that's when it's a major decision uh, eight or more uh, you get four points for team uh, if you win by 15 well then it's the match stops right where it's at and you get a what's called a tech fall that's worth five and then of course the grand pin which everybody wants to get uh, make them look at the lights if you will that's worth six points for the team well you mentioned that it's a team sport I, we you and I have seen situations where a kid you know, has a chance to get a, a, a major or a tech fall and, you know, someone gets an escape or something. That, that's huge for their team down the road when it comes to the team scoring. Right, absolutely. So, yeah, you always have your teammates having your back because you always are looking for the most points possible. That's for sure. 
Well, speaking of the most points, Gold Star, top of the class for Mike Kreds for bringing us some wrestling. Stay tuned. As we go throughout the season, we're going to get some more tutorials about, we're going to talk about back points and everything like that. Mike Kretz is your source on the Western Slope for everything wrestling right here on KREX. Stay tuned. We've got more news coming up right after this. The President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row has been extended, and you don't want to miss it. Shop today and find amazing deals storewide on dining, living, bedroom, and mattresses. And best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or get free gifts with qualifying purchase. Plus seven years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. But hurry, the extended President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. It's not quite March, but we're working like mad to come up with new slam dunk offers for hoop season. Want proof? New customers can bet $1 on any college or pro team to hit a three-pointer in a game and pocket $100 if they do. You heard that right, one single three. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, sign up with the promo code, bet a dollar to win 100 and make it rain. Hi, I'm Shauna, president of the Grand Junction Lions Club. Due to COVID, for the first time in over 90 years, the Grand Junction Lions won't be holding our annual carnival and parade, but we will still be holding our raffle. The need is great this year, so the Grand Junction Lions Club will be donating over $90,000 supporting 12 nonprofits here in Mesa County. To do that, we need you. Please buy your Grand Junction Lions raffle tickets with over $25,000 in prizes for members wearing this yellow button. Thank you, we appreciate your support. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. For installation or service, call Overhead Door Company of Grand Junction today. KREX 5 Sports is brought to you by Dickie's Legit Texas Barbecue. Now open. Colorado lawmakers are back in the State House and in the middle of a pandemic have significant work ahead. From aid for small businesses to transportation projects, our Logan Wilbur details the legislative priorities following a conversation with the vice chair of the Joint Budget Committee. Inside the state capitol, lawmakers will be deciding where to make capital investments with two legislative priorities. Economic stimulus and economic recovery. Colorado's diverse regions of large metro areas and more rural areas like those found on the western slope will both be the targets of stimulus bills likely to be introduced this week. That will include some funding for shovel-ready projects on main streets. Um, CDOT will be using those funds and again, job creators, keeping people employed and at work. Um, we also have some funding for shovel-ready state park uh, infrastructure projects. Representative Julie McCluskey says wildfire legislation and funding is on the way following a year with the state's three largest fires on record. And those obviously are, are more in the recovery bucket based on the wildfire season that we had this last year. Healthcare and prescription drugs will be a priority for lawmakers as well, McCluskey says, building on momentum from the public health care option, which she says reduced insurance rates across the state by 20 percent, though she says she has not seen specific legislation on prescription medications just yet. CCHI, Healthier Colorado, there's a number of really good, strong advocacy groups that are working Working, um, to try and just make health care affordable for all of us and make sure we have the services in the communities where we live. And that was Logan Wilbur reporting. Switching gears, KRX5 has a web segment called The Dish where we take you to local restaurants around the valley. This week we have an exciting new episode for you where digital reporter Jocelyn Stafford is live in the studio with more. Jocelyn? Thanks, Jill. If you want to try something uncommon to the Western Slope, we have the perfect spot for you. Gumbo Love is being featured this week. Located right outside Mesa Mall, this food truck is known for its authentic Cajun-style menu. With everything from jambalaya to spicy shrimp dishes, this soul food is perfect for the Grand Valley. The owner says she wanted to bring something special from Louisiana to the Western Slope. Just share the real Cajun food from 
with our neighbors, really, is what it's all about. Yes. Um, that's just how we are at home. You know, in Louisiana, we share with our neighbors and just wanted to share it here. In this episode, we will hear from the owner to see all that this food truck has to offer. If you want to find out more about Gumbo Love, the newest episode of The Dish will be out at 5 on Friday. Make sure to look for it on our website, westernslopenow.com. First on the Western Slope and reporting live in studio, Jocelyn Stafford, KREX 5 News. Score Stream and Western Slope Now are teaming up to bring you live high school sports updates. Get the latest scores and stats on your desktop, tablet, or mobile device by going to westernslopenow.com. Brought to you by Hewton Tire Company. Still your best friend, and now your co-pilot. Still the workday, just the night shift. Still home sweet home, just more mobile. Still hard work, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Eligible GM credit card members can get 6,000 total value on this 2021 Silverado All-Star Z71. See Ed Bozarth Chevrolet. Nurses are there the day we are born. They are there when your family is in crisis, and they are there in the end. In confronting the most catastrophic health crisis in modern history, we must remember our American nurse heroes need our support as much as we need them. To show our gratitude for their courage and ensure they receive the critical education and support services they need, donate to the Coronavirus Response Fund for Nurses today in honor of your American nurse hero. Practicing meditation, mindfulness, or other spiritual practices can help ground you. For more tips, visit coping-19.org. News travels fast. To the truth. Yes, to the truth. Colbert's faster. Some guy said I impulsively fire people without warning. Fire that guy. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. When your lawyer needs a lawyer, you need a lawyer. America's first choice in late night. Okay, I'm sorry, I was just remembering funny video I saw of Mr. Trump. Weeknights on CBS, right after KREX 5 News at 10 p.m. You're gonna scroll anyway, so you may as well make it productive. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for local news, weather, and sports right in your feed. Tune in to our sister station, Fox 4 News at 6.30. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here at 10. How to change the way you pizza. Step 1. Grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step 2. Bake. Step 3. Chow down on the deliciousness. Right now, get the chicken bacon artichoke pizza for just $11. Papa Murphy's. I'm Dr. Joe Stuckey, serving the Montrose Dental community for nearly 30 years, and I'm excited to introduce Dr. Chelsea Schaefer. We look forward to working together to bring you the same high-quality dental care you've come to know and expect from Soft Touch. Visit us online or give us a call and book your appointment today. I'd like to invite you in for our new patient special of exam, x-rays, and cleaning for only $79. Call us today at Soft Touch Dentistry to set up your appointment, and you can also find out more about us by checking out our website. Here in Western Colorado, we want to do everything we can to make sure our community stays healthy. Community hospitals help so many different organizations in this community that people feel a real love for this hospital. It's important that we work together and we inspire each other to live healthier lives. Community Hospital believes in what we're doing and their support helps us do our part in this community. Your up-to-the-minute local news, weather, and sports is on KREX 5 News. KREX brought you the latest on legislation impacting oil and gas on the western slope. Any job should not be lost that doesn't need to be. And how screening for COVID-19 saved the life of a local veteran. They wound up keeping me. I had pneumonia. I had no idea. KREX 5 News, first on the western slope. For these stories and more, visit westernslopenow.com. At Papa Murphy's, we believe that Fridays should be fresh because fresher is better and apparently very delicious. Every Friday, get a large sausage, cheese, or pepperoni thin crust pizza for just $5. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Item 
128 your pet name for me. Time's running out on this. You need to make a decision. I submitted you a notarized list.